M0FXB, welcome to my channel. I've been asked a question, how do I add a normal FM 70 centimeter repeater to my co-plug and then use my radio as a normal FM analog handheld? So let's go ahead and do it. So we've got the um, CPS software open here. We're gonna go to channel first and then we're gonna double click channel and we're going to create a, um, a channel here that's going to go into a zone on, uh, on our MD380. So first thing is we're in the channel page. See it says channel 1 by default. Delete that and put in. And we're going to do G, GB3FI, which is a repeater in Cheddar run by uh, G4RKY. So, and the frequency, the receive frequency, is a 7.6 megahertz split. But on, the, with code plugs, um, you don't type in a split, you type in the actual receive and transmit frequency. So, the receive frequency is 430, put it in, 430.925 in two zeros just so 430925 the transmit frequency which will give us the split is 438.525 couple of zeros um, it's if you look here it says channel mode it's a FM analog I mean it's all FM Bandwidth will keep it narrow, so 12.5. Squelch. Now we'll do the timeout. 180 is recommended. 180 seconds. Power. Well, I do tend to leave that high with my local repeaters. CTSS. Right? Yeah, so this is important. The CTSS is, is, is 77. So we want the N code. See, N code. So we're going to put that at 77. Um, so that's it. We've got our tone. We've got our shift created by the receive and transmit. Analog. Can't see anything else. Uh, all looks fine. So, okay. So we'll click add. So now we have a channel that has been created for an FM analog normal repeater. So now we just be able, need to be able to find it in our radio. So the way you do this is go to your zone information. And you'll probably have a few zones here if it isn't a brand new code plug. Now you can either choose one that's already there or you can add one. If you want to add one, just right click zone information. Click add and it will add a zone. So let's just name that zone so we can find our new channel. So double click zone. Now I've already, no, because, right, we've just created a channel. So there is the channel there that we've created. The channel one is a spare channel that we could use, but we're, we're interested in this one, GB3FI. So add it across. So now it's going to appear in that zone. So we just need to name the zone so we can find it. I mean, you could keep it as zone two, but I just think it's better to name it. So go FM repeaters I know it's all FM but I always remember them as FM repeaters so we've done that there you go it's been a while since I've done this that's why I'm looking at it so all you need to do now is send it to your radio so just plug in you know using your USB cable as usual I'm, I'm presuming you already have done this you've got the cable you've added the the USB software um, and so when you plug the radio into the computer you'll right click if um, just to make sure and you're in, your, in device manager then you'll click ports and it'll be there it'll be one of these yeah and then you'll get the com number it'll probably say USB to serial port I haven't got my radio here and then you just click the red send and click write data to radio 
And that's it. And once you've done that, when you turn the radio on, just go through the zones. You might only have one zone and you will be able to use it as a normal FM 70 centimeter radio. Hope this helps. Uh, please subscribe and like 73.